Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. Now Android TV OS and Google TV are great but there are some things that we wish we could change according to our own taste. Now there is a new home launch available on the Play Store that promises to change that. I'm really enjoying using it and today I'm going to share with you. Video is sponsored by the new Dodgy V20 Dual 5G with a 3 camera setup. A 64 megapixel main lens, 8 megapixel wide angle lens, a 20 megapixel night vision lens and a 16 megapixel selfie camera. On a 6.43 AMOLED display with a 2K resolution, taking rugged photography to the next level. I will leave a link down below. The launcher is called F Launcher and it's just awesome. It allows us to customize everything. Now if you are asking, okay Robert, it's a launcher but when I press the home button on my remote I'll go to the other classic launcher. We have a workaround for that. Now first of all let's go to the Play Store, let's search for F Launcher and install it and once we have installed it we will have uh, two categories one it's called non tv apps and the other one tv apps because we can put the apps wherever we want on our screen regardless if it's from the play store or if it's an ap key that you sideloaded and installed on your android tv box now once we have that we can start customizing those categories but uh, in my opinion personally i prefer to delete both and then start from scratch now once we start uh, creating some categories we can change the order for example we can delete categories obviously like i did right over there on the screen we can also create new categories we can create as many categories as we want and of course i can change the uh, position that i want those categories and we can also change obviously the position that we want the applications now one of the things that i really enjoy is that we can select if we want the apps displayed in line or in a grid now if i choose to put it in a line i have the option to select the line size so the apps will appear bigger or smaller and if i choose the grid it will allow me to choose how many columns do i want Per grid and that will also affect the size of the apps and this is just awesome if we want to create a on screen really customized let's say if I want to have my TV apps bigger on top and then I want I don't know gaming apps below with a smaller size and then the other apps that I don't use so much in an even smaller size so we can do that and this is great in terms of our customization possibilities because I can have the home screen exactly the way that I want and not limited by what the classic launcher will allow me or not. So for me, this is one of the biggest advantages, the customization of the size of the lines, the apps that I can install, regardless if they are from the Play Store or not, just awesome. Now, if you want to give it a final touch in terms of the background, you also have that option. You can go to the uh, background options and there are several options. You can go, for example, for the Unsplash option, where you will find landscape, abstract, minimalistic, textures, architecture, plants and animals and things like that. And you can press them randomly or you can search for something really that you are looking for for a tree or for a cat or for a dog or something like that but once you are happy with the background then just bam great you can choose it and use it the way that you want now if you prefer to use a solid background with the gradient you can or if you want to choose your own picture you can also do that if you are wondering about the android options you will be able to use them the same way that we used before if we go to that settings wheel you will find the f launcher option and right below you will have the Android options as usual. Now there is one problem which happens with any launcher that we install on Android TV and that is when I press the home button I will take it back to the classic Android TV launcher. There is a solution for that which is a app that you can install from the Play Store. It's called the Button Mapper which I've been using for quite some time. It's great. We can use it the Android the way that we want and all I need is to install that app and then where it says home button i will select i want the home button when pressed to open the app called f launcher and that will take me to f launcher every time that i press the home 
button. So guys, basically this is it. If possible, leave on the comments down below if you enjoyed the launch or not. Hope that the video was helpful and if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Puerto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.